My dear friends, the holiday season is upon us. Christmas and subsequently the Book of Boba Fett are drawing near. And this year I'm feeling pretty festive. So right now I'm in the process of setting up a new merch store and there are going to be plenty of Star Wars Christmassy designs to choose from. And also along the same lines over the next few weeks, I'm going to be posting more wintry mixes over on my second channel, Meg's Cantina. But enough jibber jabber, let's talk about Darth Plagueis. Hello my dear friends, I hope you're all having an amazing Sunday. So today I want to highlight something from the new canon book, Secrets of the Sith. Lucasfilm have finally given us a canon depiction of Darth Plagueis, Palpatine's former master. Now, during the George Lucas days of Star Wars and just after Revenge of the Sith had come out, there was a lot of fan mythology created around Darth Plagueis. On Star Wars forums in the early 2000s, he was spoken about quite a lot. After that famous scene in Episode 3, fans were very curious to learn more about Sidious's master. And then a few years later, in 2012, one of the greatest ever Star Wars novels was released, Darth Plagueis by James Luceno, which to this day remains my favourite Star Wars novel of all time. Unfortunately though, it was decanonized and so is now considered Legends. But when that book was first released, we got the entire backstory to how Sheev Palpatine, a young Naboo royal and aspiring politician, became corrupted by an evil yet genius Mun who went by the public guise of Higo Damask. His real name of course was Plagueis. Now that book was crucial for prequel Star Wars lore because we got our first idea of what Plagueis was like. Now when the novel was decanonized, Star Wars fans were rightfully upset because it meant that canonically, we didn't have any solid information about Darth Plagueis. We couldn't even be sure if Disney was going to retain his appearance as a moon. But thankfully in 2016, the source book Endless Vigil confirmed that in canon, Plagueis is indeed a moon. But on the whole, Disney Star Wars has never really addressed Plagueis at all, let alone give us any physical depictions of what he looks like. Until now, Secrets of the Sith has finally given us a vague yet impressive depiction of Plagueis. While we can't see any definitive features, his eyes, his thinness and robe all confirm that they are sticking to the Plagueis we all know and love. And the implications of including Plagueis in this book, and even a physical depiction even if it is vague, is very significant. I could be wrong, but I believe that Disney have deliberately not given us much Plagueis because they're saving him for the Acolyte. While many fans are very worried and apprehensive about that series, and believe me, I am as well, if we do learn that they're bringing Plagueis into live action, it's definitely worth keeping an open mind and giving it a chance. The show is going to be centred around the Sith during the final years of the High Republic, which means that Plagueis is alive at this point and is a central part of helping his master Darth Tenebrous devise the ultimate Sith plan, something which Palpatine would later enact. So could this first glimpse at Darth Plagueis be the start of Lucasfilm's plan to bring him to live action? I really hope so, but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. This book, The Secrets of the Sith, also contains some other really interesting information, as well as the controversial decision that basically hints that Palpatine could still be alive after episode nine. As much as I love Granddaddy Palps, I really hope they don't bring him back. At this stage, with the amount of times he's come back to life, I think it's just disrespectful to the character. But let me know your thoughts on Darth Plagueis coming to live action in the comments down below. Do you think it's going to happen and should it happen in the Acolytes? If you enjoyed this video, give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and a huge welcome if you are. But otherwise, my dear friends, I'll see you in the next one. I'm Star Wars Meg and I'm wishing you a phenomenal rest of the day, no matter where you dwell in the galaxy. Have a good one.